Venani says President Hage Genkop has always maintained that corruption in Namibia is just a perception rather than a reality. He is now challenging the head of state to act in the wake of an Icelandic corruption scandal involving Fisheries Minister Bernard Esau and Justice Minister Saki Shangala. Here you see it, Mr. President, that this is no longer a perception but as a reality. We are seeing how our natural resources are being siphoned off to the highest bidder. This is not only the very first case of corruption, the very same case of the Russian billionaire who bought land here went the same way. People are paid money to get certain deals being done. My letter was very simple and very candid to the President, and that is that by the end of this day, I demand, and the people of Namibia, through my office, demand that Saki Shangala, Minister of Justice, and Bernard Esau should be released of their duties with immediate effect. He added that should the president fail to give the two ministers marching orders, this would be in his view a betrayal to the people of Namibia who were made to believe that the current administration is ready to fight corruption. Venani demands that the chairperson of the National Fishing Corporation Fish Corps, James Hatui Kulipi, who is also implicated in the same scandal, be relieved from his duties. Hatui Kulipi also works for a top investment company, InvestTech Asset Management. Further action should be taken. Assets of those individuals, if it is found to be true that this is money that they are receiving through kickbacks, their assets should be put on, 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 on alert that uh, they, they should not leave a country and prosecution processes should start. The PDM leader also asked for the freezing of the current fishing rights applications, arguing that the approval process for fishing rights are also conducted along the same principles, demanding that fresh fishing quota applications be called for. Timo Andreas, NBC News, Ventok.